Can you imagine using a computer or a laptop that's always producing heat and always hot? Once upon a time, humans used computers that were very slow, not efficient, and always heating. At this time, the highest memory you could have on a computer is less than 1 MB. I know you're laughing right now. <laughs> I love to use phones whose memories are fast and processors are quick. Do you like that too? I'm sure you do. Well, computers that produce heat and were very slow have now been replaced. Around 1955, a device called Transistor replaced the bulky vacuum tubes in the first generation computer. Now, transistors are smaller than vacuum tubes and have higher operating speed. They have no filament and require no heating. In fact, the manufacturing cost was very low and as such, the size of the computer got reduced considerably. Examples of the computers of the second generation are IBM 1620 and IBM 1401. So, we have come to the end of this class. We said that the second generation of computers use transistors and the concept of the central processing unit, which is the CPU, memory, programming language, and input or output units were developed. Thank you. See you in the next lesson. Thank <laughs> you.